pleasure to serve before you. Um, first of all, can I please commend my friend and neighbour in Berkshire for securing this debate and also pass on the best wishes of our other friend, the Right Honourable Member for Maidenhead, who regrets that she can't be here today, but has asked me to point out that she fully supports every effort to increase um, the provision of mental health support for children in Berkshire and beyond. And also want to welcome Dr Priya Singh, who is the new Chief Executive of the Friendly ICS, who I met yesterday to discuss this very issue. Time is short, but in brief, the local NHS CCG spent £12 billion in 2020-21 for mental health support. NHS England spent a further £2 billion on that, making a total of just over £14 billion. And that's great. But I was horrified to learn that CCG spent 14, one four times more on adult mental health support than on services for children. So we need to invest much more heavily in that particular area. East Berkshire, where I reside, um, has £2.6 million pounds of funding for, for children and mental health, including £1.4 million for CAMS and 200000 for eating, eating disorders. It's not enough, Madam Chairman, and that's my opening contention to the Minister in her place. We've got the Berkshire Healthcare NHS Foundation Trust based in Bracknell do a fantastic job, but the demand for mental health assessment in children has gone up by 60, 60% in the last five years. And since the pandemic, it's gone up by a further 27%. We've got a problem. And a constituent wrote to me only yesterday to tell me that the current wait for a child to be seen by CAMS is 30 months. Prior to the pandemic, it was 18 months. Families are being left unsupported at this point in time. But of course, as politicians, we spend lots of time admiring the problem, perhaps not enough time thinking about the solution. So what do we need to do? Well, the first thing with the Minister in her place, the SEN review is still awaited. It was promised last year, it's failed to materialise, and I would ask her, please, to make sure that we get that as soon as possible. We need to invest in our children with SEN as never before. So it requires money, patience, determination, and a much clearer government strategy. And why might it work? Well, by providing the right care and the right settings, we can give our children the focus they need to be productive, employable, law-abiding and responsible citizens. And the prisons are sadly full of people who have made wrong decisions or acted impulsively, perhaps because they were not diagnosed at an early age. Let's invest in more specialist educational settings so that their needs can be addressed. Yes, it's expensive and resource-heavy, but the cost of not doing so will always be greater. And this is non-discretional spending. I'd like to see every local authority in the UK comprehensively reviewing their SEM provision so that it becomes available in every area. And I personally believe that specialist and dedicated settings are the way forward for those who need it. We need to give our teachers better training with EHCPs. They cannot become a magic bullet, a passport for the lucky few, but a rightful passport for every child to get the support they need. And lastly, our CAMs across the UK need 20,000 volts put straight through them. For families to be waiting two and a half years for a consultation is not only immoral, it's also frankly inept. And the irony will not have escaped anybody here that a GP cannot prescribe medication for ASD, ADHD, ODD, Asperger's or any other mental health condition without a diagnosis from CAMS. We've got to focus on CAMS right now. So to conclude, Madam Chairman, let's please get spending, let's get diagnosing, let's get treating and let's give all of our children the future that they deserve not least in Berkshire.